Many kids talk of running away to join the circus. Well, this kid's running from one. You don't know where you're going, do you? Sonny was the big star of circus magic. Now, after years of wrangling with the animal rights people, circus owner Kerry Ridgway is handing Sonny over. I think it is very much a changing world. Animals like lions, tigers, elephants, I don't realistically think they have a place in circuses now. He was in a circus in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. And um, actually, this is the circus owner. And we're, um, I'm from an animal rights organisation. We um, negotiated his release and we're taking him to a sanctuary in, in Africa. Oh, okay. The long-time enemies are now sharing the 50-hour journey to Sonny's new home. Travelling um, to Africa with you is probably the last thing I expected to be doing. Long trip. We were here in Zambia. How about that? I'm very upset with you. Why? You never brought a bicycle. Kumbunchi <laughs> is a sanctuary. More than a thousand acres of forest set in northern Zambia. Sheila Siddle has been mum here for more than 20 years. I can't think of these chimpanzees who live the same length of time as we do, just sitting out there waiting to die and not living normal family life. From what I've seen and from talking to Sheila, I don't think I could have asked for anywhere better. The idea behind this is really just to give the chimpanzees as natural an environment as possible and as, you know, as much space as we can give them so that they can just carry on their normal existence, you know, live life like wild chimpanzees. <laughs> what we also do is supplementary feed them though. We give them a breakfast meal and then we give them a lunchtime meal as well. It's just to make sure that um, you know they are getting enough food. Despite all the home comforts, these guys have a mind of their own. They're not supposed to do this. This is um, this is an electric, about an eight-foot electric fence. You just hey, get back there. Hey, get back, get back. Hey, naughty. Hey, hey. <laughs> Coming out. We're trying to stop them, chase them back. Hey, sit, do it. Yes. Sorry. No. Yes. <laughs> About eight of them have just escaped. Some buddy, come down and buddy. Can someone please go and tell the rain to try and start calling them into the cages? Into the cages. Violent. But it could be a couple of months before Sonny gets this taste of freedom. He's in here, gearing up to enter his new environment. It's almost like someone lit tap dancing. <laughs> Soon he'll be able to meet his brother Buddy, who's been at Chimpanchi for over a year. This is our way of introducing chimps to each other. They can't get their hands fully through, so they can't hurt each other, but they can get to know each other and make friends. Like the animal rights man and the circus man, most of the time. Uh, buddy, at the time that you want to sell Buddy and Lola. Wait, wait, wait. I couldn't wait. But whoever got him here, Sonny's new mum thinks he'll settle in just fine. He's such a wonderful chimp. He's got such a fantastic nature. And uh, I think it's going to be very, very easy to integrate him with the others. But his dad will miss him. Come back in a couple of years and uh, I'm sure he'll be running the place. <laughs> <laughs>